Cinderella and Her Prince Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, there lived a young girl named Cinderella. She was kind-hearted, gentle, and sweet, but her life was far from perfect. Her mother passed away when she was very young, leaving her in the care of her father and stepmother. Cinderella's stepmother was a wicked woman, and she had two daughters. Whenever Cinderella was around, her stepmother would make her do all the chores around the house while her daughters lounged about doing nothing. Cinderella's father was too wrapped up in his grief to do anything about it. Cinderella spent her days and nights dreaming about a different kind of life. Instead of her tattered dress and sandals, she wanted to wear resplendent gowns and slippers. While she scrubbed the floors and cleaned up after her siblings, Cinderella dreamt of meeting a nobleman who would save her from poverty. One day, a royal invitation arrived in the mail. King John was holding a royal ball, and all of the eligible young ladies in the kingdom were invited to attend. Cinderella's stepmother and her daughters were overjoyed. They ordered gowns and prepared for the wonderful evening at the castle. Meanwhile, Cinderella was left to clean the house. After the other women left for the ball, Cinderella was so sad that she began to cry. Giant tears rolled down Cinderella's rosy cheeks, but no one was there to comfort her. Suddenly, a bird appeared at Cinderella's window. Then, much to her surprise, the tiny bird changed into a fairy godmother. She said that she had been watching Cinderella's plight and wanted to help. The fairy godmother held a magical wand. She waved her wand, and suddenly a beautiful gown appeared in Cinderella's hands. She then waved her wand again, and a pair of glass slippers showed up. With a snap of her fingers, a beautiful coach arrived with floor, four splendid white horses harnessed to it. You must return home by midnight, warned the fairy godmother, or your coach will turn into a pumpkin. Cinderella arrived at the ball, and the entire room was in awe of her beauty. She was the loveliest woman in the room. With her gown and her glass slippers on, even Cinderella's stepsisters did not recognize her. Everyone was captivated by Cinderella's beauty, including the prince. He asked her to dance, and they danced until the early morning hours of the morning. When the clock struck midnight, Cinderella remembered her fairy godmother's warning and ran away. In her haste, she lost one of her glass slippers. Soon it became known that the prince was searching for the mysterious woman he had danced with at the ball. Cinderella kept quiet 
for fear that her stepmother would punish her. The prince searched for her everywhere. He went about the kingdom, looking for the woman who would fit into the glass slipper. His men looked in every direction. Eventually, the prince arrived at Cinderella's home. Cinderella's stepsisters tried on the glass slipper, but of course it wouldn't fit. Is there anyone else in the home? asked the prince. He spotted Cinderella in the corner and insisted that she be allowed to try it on too. The slipper was a perfect fit. The charming prince fell in love with Cinderella and came back to see her again and again. On the first night, he gave her a diamond necklace. On the second night, he gave her a ring. On the third night, he asked for her hand in marriage, and she said yes. Cinderella and the prince were married, and she became his princess. Cinderella and the prince lived happily ever after in his castle. Cinderella was no longer forced to do all of the chores, and her stepmother and stepsisters were forced to treat her with respect. And that is Cinderella's love story. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.